once uh, we get into national territory, that's when we're going to see the craziness of everyone coming out. Because I remember, like, the Mexico Saga, we just kind of figured, like, we figured out, like, just different aspects of different players. Right. And then the, when people, when the Japanese, like, flew in, that's when the game got <laughs> yeah, really yeah. interesting. Yeah, it became an international, like, just yeah. the, the element. Oh, And then all of a sudden, keep... okay, Leo coming out of Yeah. <laughs> I, I can hear the chants, like, the commentary on Smash Factor. When he beat Mr. R, just, that goes in my mind sometimes. And we opening up with this match, we got Sweet versus uh, versus Taylor. Uh, King DDD versus a Pokemon trainer. Um, King DDD has been doing pretty well in the metagame, surprisingly. We've got a couple of... Good players uh, throwing out King DDD. That's how I remember him. He played DDD in, in, Brawl, in, in Smash 4 too. Gotcha. Yeah, so um, Taylor is definitely, he's been kind of out of the scene for a while, uh -huh. but he's definitely, he's definitely a SoCal DDD. Oh, but um, Sweet, formerly known as NC Jacob T. Oh, shoot, yeah, that's right. I know who There's a carpal yeah. there's multiple times. Yeah. And uh, he's in a little bit of trouble right now. Yeah, <laughs> actually getting hit with one hell of a forward smash because DDD's ledge traps seem more effective in this game than they did before. Yeah. And I feel like that's more, that's not really like the character like doing anything. It's more of a, I mean, it's not really a buff to the character, but it's just uh, an inherent buff, you know, right. like a mechanic buff. Plus, there are other things like, you know, uh, inhale is so much better in this game. Like, it's oh. it's off the chain. <laughs> like, you know, <laughs> I'm like watching big D play matches, and you're just getting so much mileage out of inhale mix ups. Uh, but of course, uh, you know, it, it, Jacob is such a, a smart player. I, I always had felt like in our Smash 4 days, Jacob was always the best non power rank player in SoCal. Like, did he? I'm pretty sure he got ranked one time. Yeah, he got ranked uh, maybe a couple times actually. Yeah. He's always like, you know, he's always that borderline guy. Yeah. And, you know. Yeah. I remember there was. I remember when he did get ranked. I was definitely talking to him back then. Right. <laughs> but man, actually, he used to play a lot of Pikachu, but right. it seems like he's trying to trying to work on the Pokemon trainer a bit more. Yeah, he mentioned that to me. I talked to him uh, the other day about what character he was going to use. Just, you know, checking in on the guys. So, yeah, he's still going to play Pikachu a little bit, but yeah. he's going to try out the Pokemon Trainer. Yeah. Pokemon Trainer looks cool. It's got a lot of... Uh, wow, a lot of that of tilt thing. up there is so strong. But actually, one thing I'm really liking about, uh, liking from Sweet, is just how he's been changing between each character. Yeah, mixing it up doesn't let Taylor, like, you know, make any real adaptations to a specific, uh, specific character. That's got to be confusing to keep track of it if you're Taylor. Like, am I adapting to Jacob, Sweet, or am I adapting to Squirtle, Charizard, or Ivysaur while yeah. playing it simultaneously? Oh, great Flare Blitz. That was ambitious, and it worked out. And back to Squirtle. Yeah. I feel like that's kind of like how you want to be. You want to do a Squirtle for the earlier percentages, get rack up as much damage as possible. And then when you get to the mid, mid percentages, all of Ivysaur's mid-range combos are so strong. He has all the range. Right. Yeah, definitely, as far as this match goes. Oh, man. <laughs> I was like, Taylor's about to pick up another uh, smash on the ledge. But, you know, outside of that big forward smash from, from Taylor, it's, it's been sweet in control the whole time. Yeah. Did you see that bullet scene? Yeah, the damage. I've never seen anyone else use that The move. Brawl special, man. <laughs> <I know. laughs> oh, he went deep. Oh, there's the dare. I don't know. Was that a true combo? Was that guaranteed? Somebody get in the lab and tell, tell me if that was guaranteed. Hey, I've, <laughs> I've seen weirder. I, I, I think I've seen a lot of different characters have, like, those weird recovery into spike combo. Yeah, because like, he definitely did uh, fly, grab the ledge, red, uh, ledge release, double jump down air. Yeah. And got that, you know. If anything, it caught Taylor off guard and got the down air. It might be guaranteed, though. Yeah, it, it looked true from where like, we are. It's one of those close enough to count kind of situations. And Jacob staying with the Pokemon trainer. But now he switched to a girl. Oh, yeah, I got to keep that keep that mixed up. Yeah, yeah. like you can't – you, you're mixing up everything, your genders. So <laughs> now in this match, uh, the special moves from uh, Squirtle are going to definitely be a little stronger while his attack is going to be a little weaker because he's female. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that whole the Gen 2 uh, – the whole Gen 2 thing going on. I don't know. That's an issue. Don't take that – don't take it to the heartstream. Uh, it's fine. It's probably. We're trolling. <laughs> We're trolling. And speaking of trolling uh, – Jacob just put up 90 unanswered, 101 unanswered, a billion unanswered. Switching over to Charizard, trying to get him with a 
ledge get up with the down smash. Oh, he actually countered the Gordo with the flamethrower and count and also finished it up with an up air. Yeah, Jacob just bringing out the monsters and the, and the pocket monsters, man. It's so much damage, got a full lead. Presence of mind to get out of the way of that forward smash, putting on the hurt. Taylor's got to make figure something out because he's getting overwhelmed. Yeah. Like I'm really, I'm, I'm actually like extremely impressed with how um, Taylor's been playing this. Oh, he, he just, pulled that quick switch. I don't know if you saw that. Yeah, yeah, he did. He did the up B into the down B, right. like the immediate. And like I've seen, that's kind of how uh, Pokemon trainers are gonna try to like trap people off stage now. Yeah, they go for a vine whip hit, and then they immediately switch to Charizard and fly back. And he's got a commanding lead. This is man, you gotta. Taylor's got to take a step back and just reevaluate. <laughs> yeah, like this is, he is kind of getting a hurting going on. Like, I'm just feeling like the way how Jacob and uh, Sweet has been mixing up his play styles, right. it's really hard to like keep track of. They're just like, overwhelming, Taylor. It's kind of hard to, you know, if the river is rushing down on you, if you can't hold all the water, man. Yeah. Oh. Blair Blitz coming out, just getting away with anything that he wants to. Somebody stop this man, he's getting away with murder. Yeah, for sure. And like, it's all, it's even unnecessary. And Sweet can do whatever he wants right now. He has such a commanding lead that, like, even if he messes up. Oh, why didn't that flamethrower <laughs> turn it around? That was matchup knowledge right there. Apparently, flamethrower doesn't turn it around. It, it did the first time. Oh, though. did it? It did it a little earlier, and that's why I'm so surprised. Like, <laughs> why didn't that turn it around? It must be stale. It may be, who knows? It might be like knockback based, but that tech chase with the uh, withdraw. withdraw. Ooh. I like the way the up tilt looks for my <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. It's like, push up with the whole uh, yeah. whole whole vine. Yeah, and like the face. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Ivysaur's uh, voice actor is just amazing. Oh great vine web taking out the stock. And that was a swift 2-0.